everybody and welcome back to my channel. So my friend Katrina started selling Mascara Beauty last year and I was holding off forever to try it because I'm just not that much of a makeup person. But today I'm giving you my first impressions. If you want to see how you can do your makeup just like me using literally just these two products, well there's a couple of products in the palette, but you know, then keep watching. So we're going to beat this face today. <laughs> so I'm super excited to try them. I have not tried them yet, so this is going to be my very first impressions. So I've got four colors in my palette here, and then I've got the double-ended brush. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll find out for you. So the idea behind Mascara Beauty is that everything, I think it's called Hack, right? I don't even know what Hack stands for but it's about doing your face super fast. So it's 3D beauty, right? So instead of doing layers of foundation and then bronzer and then highlight and then cheek color, instead of doing layers, you're going to do one layer of all of the different things on your face. So this is going to be my very first go at it. So, you know, buckle up. <laughs> I've watched one tutorial video that Katrina did on how to do this, and then I decided to just jump right in and now, I'm a little bit nervous, but let me bring you in closer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the um, contour first. Gosh, I feel like a real makeup artist now. <laughs> um, she said, less is more. So we're going to be building up the coverage, if anything. So we're gonna carve out my cheekbones. And I underestimated how difficult this would be doing in the viewfinder, but here we go. I'm gonna look over here at a mirror I've got. Okay, the first color has been laid. <laughs> Okay, so whether you have a nose on the big side or not, um, just doing down the side of your nose and then on the tip is going to give that nice slender look and really bring the light. So the idea when we're doing makeup, again, I'm not a makeup artist, but I do know some basics. When you're doing makeup, you wanna bring light to the center of your face. So that's why we're gonna start the contour here. I'm going to bring it around the edge of my forehead and down along my jawline as well. And when you notice I lay the color down here, you're going to see my neck kind of recede back a little bit. It really does, you know, thin you. And the key to this is blend, blend, blend. Directly under your lower lip, creating a little shadow there, and then we're gonna pop a little highlighter right here on my Cupid's bow. The shadow down here is going to create a fuller pout. Now, if you're not a fan of using a brush, you can also use your fingertips. So she did tell me that you can use the cheetah hack. So the cheetah hack is where you're going to put you make yourself look like a cheetah. You're gonna spot your stuff everywhere that it goes. So spot your contour where your contour goes, spot your blush where that goes, so on and so forth, and then you just blend it all at the end. I decided to go directly in with the brushes because I'm brave. We'll see how it turns out. So like this would be cheetah hack-ish if you can see how I've got the spots just all over. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go in with my main color, so this would be considered my highlight, which is confusing, right? So traditionally a highlighter is, they call the highlighter illuminator, and they call your regular like foundation type color your highlight. And so I can just cheetah this all around like so. Very important, she said, if it looks cakey at all, you've used too much product. And so already I noticed that I really kind of went in here a lot. So I probably have a little extra product right there, which I'll take care of. But if you have used Mascara Beauty before or you've heard of people using it before and they said that it's cakey looking, you've used too much product. You guys, I trust Katrina like, whoa. She, she is my makeup connoisseur. She probably wouldn't call herself that, but you guys, she is. She tries out products, she's super honest about how she feels about them, and she's really critical about what's a good product and what isn't, and she loves this stuff. 
So I trust her implicitly, and so yeah, let's keep going. Okay, and now I've popped in, I went and did this without telling you guys, but I popped into my illuminating color down here on the end, and I just popped that right under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and right here in the top of my forehead. I have to lay a little bit of blush down. We're gonna do that with my fingertip. Just warming it up with my fingertip, and then I'm gonna pop it right here, just above my contour, and a little bit on the apple of my cheek. Now, if you wanted to get color matched, all that you have to do is stand or sit, get yourself in front of a window that has natural light coming in, no artificial light whatsoever, and snap a selfie from a couple of different angles. I provided Katrina some really funny faces in mine, but then she's able to color match you. So you don't have to go anywhere. You can shop from the comfort of your own home and get the right colors. And if for whatever reason they're not the perfect colors, they've got an exchange policy. Okay, time to beat this face. <laughs> and you're just going to blend, blend, blend with circular motions. When you're blending, you always want to make sure that you're blending well into the hairline, well down your neck, so that you really don't have harsh lines anywhere. And I just want you to see, if, if I can, crank my neck to the right angle for you, how well this blends. So you can see the spots, hopefully. I can't really see, so we're going to just go on faith here. You can see the spots there, and then they're just going to blend right away. Now, obviously, I'm not done blending, but that's after just one pass. If you're not a fan of the brush, you can also use a beauty blender and, you know, dab, dab, dab. And again, we're bringing it down the neck. So you can see my nicer, maybe tanner looking top is fading away into my white, white skin. Pale, pale, pale. <laughs> You don't want to be too aggressive in your blending because you don't want to move your product where you've laid it, remember? Because we laid the contour down the edges of the nose and then the highlight right down the middle. So we want to blend them, but we don't want to smush them around too much. I think I'm blended, but I can't really see very well. Let me look. I'm going to add a little more blush because I feel like you always need a little more blush than you think. Warm those cheeks up a little bit. And you guys, obviously I was doing a lot of explaining to you as I was laying down the product, but I think that I could get this stuff on my face in like three to five minutes in the morning. And I love that it's literally just these two pieces. They do have bigger compacts that will also have um, eyeshadow and stuff in them. Oh, I should do my eyes for you. Um, if you wanted to have like everything, everything all in one, that is a possibility and I do love that. Um, I don't do makeup that frequently slash hardly ever, but when I do, I had like one billion products. I mean, I am a bit of a product whore, but that's here nor there. I really love the all in one compact. Um, I will put Katrina's information down below in the description box in case you are interested in checking out Mascara Beauty. She is amazing. Seriously, you just, um, you can find her on Instagram too, and she's so good. Oh, and she has a business page. She has a business page on Facebook where she goes live um, with tutorials very frequently. So I'll put all of that information down below as I pull my little pin curls out. I'm also racing against the clock because my low battery is flashing at me on the camera and I really want to get this totally filmed in one shot. And that's my final look. I mean, I guess I could add lips. Oh, the, um, <laughs> look at that. So it's actually a lip and cheek color. So let's pop a little bit of this on my lips. Okay, now for real I'm done. 
Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my little first impressions video. Again, if you have any questions, then you can leave me a comment down below. You can reach out to Katrina. All of her contact information is in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.